up, Weddy Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Fire Brigade of Flames Chapter 52. And as part of the Nerdigan Sync expansion, something I'm starting to do is a weekly manga Nerdigan podcast where all of us manga fans get together once a week and discuss the week's previous chapters and um, and what we think is going to happen in upcoming chapters. And uh, it's going to be held on Saturday nights, and I'm experimenting with the time. And based on what some of my Nerdigans um, uh, told me, or uh, feedback-wise, <laughs> um, they said that I was going a little too late because they're on the East Coast. I'm on the West Coast. So um, so this week it's going to be at 9.30 p.m. Eastern T Standard Time, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And it's not just me talking. You guys get to t be a part of it, too, because I have my chat room. And I have um, the Google Hangout set up. Even though I've been mainly talking anyway, I don't care. I love to talk. I could talk about manga all day. So it's really fun. Anyways, uh, make sure you stay, stay subscribed to Nerdigans Inc. for more Nerdigan awesomeness. And let's get on to this live reaction. So um, last chapter was really interesting. So we have we had a couple of big events happen. So we had um, the... Uh, the seventh is now aligned with the eighth, and Fetty Maru was so funny when he was drunk. He was smiling. He had like the demon smile. It was hilarious. And then, um, oh, what was the other one I was thinking of? Then we saw Sho. Sho is starting to make his move. And we found out a little bit more about the Adora Burst, too. The, um, hold on a second. Let me make sure I'm saying this. The, yeah, the Adora Burst, which are basically like the heart inside. Remember we, when we saw the, um, uh, like an x-ray of Shimra's legs and like right in his calves there are ribs yeah the Adora burst is like the heart the uh, flame demon heart in um in Shimra's uh calves so yeah so we saw Sho getting information about that I can't wait to see Shimra versus Sho that shit's gonna be awesome and then the other thing was um that we have a new scientist named Victor uh Licht and he is part of the joke uh, i guess the joker sent him so here's my theory on this why the joker sent him i think he's trying to see how close he can get to, or like i think it was because of the uh adora um burst being activated because we saw it like in its full glory um in asakusa when remember with the x-ray so i think that's when um that's why joker sent him now also I think it, the chemist, because uh, the the chemist for the research department, I think it's gonna it's gonna help show or not show Shinra, um, it's gonna help Shinra get ready for um for the battle uh, against Show. I think that's why Joker did it. Joker probably did it uh, as to help Shinra. He might not be an enemy. He might actually be an asset. So um anyway, without further ado. Let's get to the chapter. An enemy where um, an enemy is the new member of the eighth. What are um, he and the Joker plotting? So you've infiltrated the eighth? Yeah, the Empire ordered um, all brigades to strengthen their research divisions. The timing was perfect for us. You a member of a brigade? You a member of a brigade? What a joke. Nothing funny about it. After returning home from Asakusa, um, Shinra and, uh, and company are greeted by a rookie named Lit. What is this, is this mysterious man from... Um, Hajima, and what is his connection with the Joker? We are on the justice, on the side of justice, after all. The name's Victor Licht. I've been appointed as the, uh, as chief of the Ace Chemistry Department. What a suspicious little man! A salute by a brigader is made with the right hand. Um, oops, sorry about that, Captain. Please forgive the gap of the simple scientist. Of uh, the simple scientist, what's going on? Oh my! Yes, I did. I did the. I did the voice. Oh my! Um, you're Shinra, uh, Shinra Kusakabe, right? Uh, Kusakabe, correct? The soldier with, um, the Adora Burst? Let me see, mm, where is it? Show me! Ah, get off of me! Uh, stay away from Shinra! Adora Burst? Adora Link? Wait, did I see? What is Adora Burst? The Emperor said it was a flame, um, without, um, impurities. That it was the spark used by the sun god to create this world, the original flame. But it was all too confusing and I didn't understand any of it. Replace the planet with this country, that is certainly what the emperor meant. What the flame is, um, is what created this country. You know the creator of the sun, correct? Yeah, um, Amaterasu. Um, 
And of course, you know where this nation lies on the planet. Flame, uh, flames exploded around the world. It de uh, world devastated it. W continents were ripped up and left in an unbelievable state that could only be described as a living hell. So we're learning now. We're learning about the world. This is oh, ooh, this is good. So we're we found out that uh, why the world, this particular universe, is this way is that flames literally cut. Um, ripped the continents apart. Look at that! Asia was ripped apart. North America was ripped apart. That looks like South America over there. You, um, where's Tokyo? Is that Tokyo Empire right there? Or there's Asia, there's Africa. Wow, I think Australia did too. Numerous nations that used to exist were completely uh, were burned completely to the ground. To, uh, to the ground. Currently, the only place where people can live decently is here in our empire. I'm curious what it is, what it is like uh, on um, other parts of the planet. Man, it must be like fallout out on the rest of the planet right now. It's gotta be like a post-apocalyptic shit. The ground didn't suffer as much here, so thousands migrated and settled here. But wait a minute. The only thing we don't... Uh, hold on. The only thing I gotta say here about that is... It depends on... Uh, hold on. It depends on the type of fire it is. Because if it's demon fire, then yeah, you can't live on that shit. There's no way you can. But if it's just a regular fire, then... There's something... Um, there's the cycle of life from, uh, from, you know, the saying from death, there's rebirth. Yeah. There's going to, there's going to be more, um, you're still going to be able to use the soil and stuff like that on other parts of the world. And it just depends on the climate, if anything, but the type of flame that the key thing here is the type of flame that was spread throughout the world was not specified. It just said, it just says flames exploded around the world. Doesn't say what type. The ground didn't suffer as much. Here, uh, so thousands of migrants. Here we go. Then the Church of the um, Holy Soul and um, Hygiene Industries developed the eternal power generator um, Amaterasu. Thanks to the blessed abundance of power from Amaterasu, the empire managed to further de uh, develop. And so even uh, more were uh, allowed to migrate. And it became common practice to put one's given name in front of their surname as opposed to how it was before. On the other hand, there also developed the original country, uh, country idealistic, idealist nation, a group that continues to preserve the ancient customs of this land. They put their surnames in front of their given names and don't utilize the absolute um, power of Amaterasu. The Adora Burst is the source of the power for the original, uh, for Adamarasu, the original flame, that all, and also the sacred flame that created this planet. However, these very same flames are that which uh, brought destruction upon this world. We in the scientific community like to refer to the Adora um, burst as the flames of destruction. So this is a, so this is a natural flame. This is a flame that came from the earth. So this isn't demon fire. This is a flame that came from the earth. This is a natural thing. Because fire, because as, you know, as like mentioned, is that fire can create and destroy. And that's something that people need to understand, and that it's true. Fire can create and destroy. Fire can create warmth, and it does provide warmth. Fire can, um, if warm, warmth to keep, you know, keep you warm, or it provides heat to, you know, it helps you with cooking and shit. And also purify and other crap. Uh, can destroy well look at forest fires i wonder if the adora burst is more powerful than a volcano i wonder if the adora burst is coming from is the thing i'm wondering if this is something like out of the core like we're having like the adora burst is like a something's coming out of the earth's core i want to know your nerdigans about this what you, what you think Devil, your flames are the are that which shall exterminate humanity. So that's why she said that. But the truth is, many properties of the flame are unknown. 
If it's a flame that threatens to destroy humanity, but also a sacred flame that can save everyone, then I only want to use the, the sacred part. And that would be the Adora Link? Huh? Adora Link? Never heard of it. I can't say that I have either. Oh, really? Never mind. Then, uh, then thanks. No problem. Feel free to, um, feel free. Ask any, um, ask anything at any time. Shimra Kazakabe, how do you know about the Adora Link? Son of a bitch. Licked, um, Lick, was it? This is your resume? Yes, I think you'll find me more than, than qualified. I graduated at the top of uh, my class from the Imperial University of Tokyo. I was also appointed uh, head of um, incendiary research at um, Hajima. It was bad to be so good. Um, and with such high qualifications, why join the 8th Brigade? When I was at Hajima, I locked myself away to do my research, and I thought it would be a nice change of pace to get close to the action and get data straight from the, uh, straight from the source. If you don't like it, then feel free to transfer me. But I do what I do. Um, but I do really want to be a uh, part of your brigade. However, you don't have a specialist uh, like me. If you uh, dawdle around the empire, um, dawdle around the empire may se uh, send someone even weirder than me. But we already have someone in mind. Captain, could you contact him? No, this is Vulcan we're talking about. Vulcan, you're trying to recruit him? Vulcan, who's that? Everyone in Hygema tried to recruit him and were either rejected or never heard back from. He's very skilled. He lives up to the title God of, of the Forge and Flames. It would be best to go to his workshop with a proposal. I wouldn't recommend it. He hates um, Hygema and every brigade associated with them. Hmm. If we can't contact them, then we should go directly to them. I heard he's the same age, uh, same age as our uh, young members. Shima, why don't you go with Arthur and, sis and, sister, and uh, sister to Vulcan's workshop? Can't I just go with sister? Yeah, because uh, Arthur's a special sparkle. He's he's my special sparkle. But he'll get lost. Um, I don't want this to be a formal visit, so um, you'll have to disguise yourselves. So, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you have uh, you have uh, to make a good first impression. Yeah, you have to make a first. Sorry, I can't talk right now. You have to make a good first impression. This is a difficult job. If you get... Even get a hello, then you've done a good job. Positive and active. What's with the ex what's with that expression? I heard that um, Seventh Brigade personnel use it. Oh, seems like fun. This is a waste of time. Yeah, Betty Maru. Betty, like she just needs to become Betty Maru's apprentice. Can we make this happen? Um, this is a waste of time. Vulcan has already snubbed the brigades. We in the Eighth want to uh, change this country, so we have to do everything we can. Everyone else, everyone else tried to tempt Vulcan with wealth and status, and Akitaru sends these brats to try and convince them? The 8th Brigade sure is strange. All right, well, let me show you your room. We can grab you, um, grab your luggage if you like. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Hajima has already arranged to bring everything I need uh, to get to work. Let's see if we can use the 8th uh, to achieve Joker's objectives. I'm telling you, the 8th of, uh, the Joker's objectives is to is to take out sh uh, take out show just watch or to use show and uh, or to or to either kill show or to bring show to the other side one of the two i've never seen you out of a uh, uniform before sister sometimes when i go shopping or for a walk i'll wear something other than my usual um uh habit i can't believe vulcan lives in a place like this i've never been i've been somewhere like that uh, been somewhere like this how about you arthur hmm you think a scatterbrain like him remembers anything? Hey, shut up, Chiffer Brains. I learned that in Asakusa. Aww. You learned Chiffer Brains in Asakusa. Arthur, you are such a special sparkle. I love you. You two seem to get along well. Men, men will always butt heads. This is true. Holy shit! That workshop is so cool! I want to go. I like Vulcan's workshop. I've seen that long-nosed animal in an encyclopedia before. It's called an elephant, right? What a weird place. Hello. Oh, wait. Hello? No one's home. This, they might um, might just be pretending they're not here. Open up. I'm uh, Sir Arthur Boyle, second class f uh, fire officer and king of knights. How dare they... <laughs> How dare they show hostility to the king of knights? They probably reacted to you saying fire officer, idiot. Go away. Ah, what a loser. What? No. Show yourself, you bastard. Bullets don't work against knights. 
Um, excuse me, are you looking for somebody? Who's asking? Wait, you're... Who are you? I figured you wouldn't remember. Here comes a long-haired boy with a backpack. Wait a second, I remember him. Can you believe it's... God! The God... Is, is that... Oh! That must be our man! That must be a man! Uh, that must be Vulcan! I, I I can't wait to see what happens next chapter. I want to see the history between uh, Shimura and Vulcan. So, man, this chapter was really good. I And this is something that I hope happens in... Um, uh, the Promised Neverland in particular. Not, I'm not talking about the flames and shit. I'm talking about the world building. That we have, we have an idea of what happened to this world. That it got decimated. How it got decimated and how it became the way it was. And how the flame, sacred flame came to be. That's what I'm hoping happens in the Promised Neverland. We need, this is what I want. Is something like that. But anyway, let me know what you thought of this chapter. And... What what do you think is gonna happen? What what do you think Licked or Joker is trying to get out of this? What do you think he is trying to get out of this? I think they're trying to get a uh, um trying to use Shinra as a way to either get Sho to come to their side and to destroy the priests or to kill Sho. That's just my personal opinion. But anyway. Uh, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. And if you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to the Nerdigans Inc. expansion, there's a couple ways you can do that. You can donate to the Nerdigans Inc. Patreon or purchase something off the Nerdigans Inc. Amazon wishlist. Both links are in the description box below. And make sure you follow me on the Twits, aka Twitter. Um, from uh, follow my Twitch channel and from me on PlayStation Network. And until next time, my fellow Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.